Our next definition is what we call a tree. You likely have seen trees before. In fact, trees are often a common introduction in the graph theory. A free tree, we're just going to call it a tree, is a connected acyclic graph. So here's an example of a tree, more common to what you might have seen, where I draw it in this sort of manner where there is a root looking vertex and there are something at the bottom which are called leaves. Leaves are vertices that have only one edge, so they have degree one. And it turns out that draw the way you draw the tree, like we talked about before with isomorphism, doesn't matter. So I happen to draw this with what we call a root. This is a common way to draw a tree, but it is not required. A graph can still be a tree, even if it has no root vertex specifically defined by the person that designs it. In fact, sometimes finding a good root vertex is a little weird, and you can make any node of the root in any tree, and it would be an equally valid tree. Notice it has no cycles. If I were to add in an edge that connected those two vertices, I would now have a cycle here, and it is no longer a tree. If you're thinking about this in terms of roots, children, and parents, this is because in the original tree, every node unambiguously has a parent that's above it, and children which are below it. This is sort of the idea behind the tree. However, if I were to do this, this thing looks like it's a child, but also it's a parent. And then, oh God, it gets a little confusing and the, you can start drawing this in all sorts of different ways. And it gets totally ambiguous about this idea of a child and a parent because of the existence of this cycle. So we let we make it be connected so that it's an entire graph and you can reach everywhere from everywhere else and it is acyclic. If you remove the connected bit, it turns out we call that a forest because people think they're clever. It's just a bunch of trees because if it's not connected, each thing individually would still be acyclic and therefore still a tree on its own.